Hi everyone, today I'm going to be going shopping at Sephora, so I'm going to come take you along with me. Everything I find in this video will be linked in the description if you're interested. The first thing I ended up looking at were these Laneige lip masks. I'm not quite sure if I'm saying that right, but they did have these new limited edition ones that caught my eye. Specifically, this strawberry lemonade one I thought was really cute. And as you can tell, it's already all mixed up. It was sold out of my Sephora, unfortunately, but they did have a lot of this mango one left. My sister is really into Glow Recipe. She got one of these sample products from them a while back and then she ran out and wanted to get a full-size one. This is the full-size product she ended up getting. I've never tried it before, but she says it works wonders. I really do love the packaging on all of the Glow Recipe products and I did see they had this Barbie Glow Recipe collab, but none of the packaging really had anything barbie on it so yeah everything glow recipe has is really pink so i definitely could see barbie using this skincare <laughs> moving right along we went over to the glossy a section every time i come to my sephora they never have any of the bomb.coms however they did have berry this time i'm not quite sure if berry is anyone's favorite bomb.com it definitely isn't my favorite the one I'd absolutely love to try would definitely be birthday cake. I love anything birthday cake flavored. We did end up finding some original bomb.coms though in the mini section. <laughs> yeah, I can't record and hold stuff at the same time. They also put some more berries in there and they even put some of the solid perfume in there for some reason. They even have one of them already open too. I guess someone went in there and opened it, but yeah. Of course, it wouldn't be a Sephora trip if you didn't look up Rare Beauty. My sister really wanted a blush from there. I'm not quite sure she ended up getting one. She did end up buying a lot of stuff when we were here today. We were having a debate on which Rare Beauty blush I own because I bought one last year and I don't remember the exact name of it because I hardly ever use it, but she was trying to like tell me which one it was. I was like, no, it's not that one, it's this one. She's like, no, it's this one. And <laughs> yeah, it's just what sisters do. Which one do you have? Uh, I think I have this one. What is it Bliss? Bliss, which one? This one? Yeah. Mm, I don't think so. Or Joy. Uh, it might be this one. No, no that's too Faith. Funny. Or, I thought I had this. I, I'd have to look at home. I think you have Bliss. All right, well, I'll have to see. Of course, I had to look at the mini, specifically these Sephora Collection lip balms because I heard that they had a lychee flavor and I'm obsessed with anything lychee. I love lychee jelly, so I was trying to find that lychee flavor, but all I saw were mango and rose and strawberry. However, I was able to find the lychee flavor in the actual Sephora Collection section, so that was a plus. Then I came across these new Super Goop lip balm things, the tinted lip balms. I'm not quite sure how new these are, but they are new to me. They have four shades, High Five, Lucky Me, Obsessed, and Love You More. My favorite one had to be Lucky Me. It's the one that I'm grabbing right here, and it's also the one they have the least amount of. So as you can tell, that's, you know, means that it's quite popular. I have so many lippies at home, so I didn't get this one but it's tinted and it has SPF 30 in it. So I would definitely recommend this to anyone looking for a new like lip shade. Then I went over to the Sol de Janeiro section and I saw that they had this tin that I had never seen before and it has three different lotion scents. Apparently this is new. It's a limited edition item and it didn't have a price anywhere in the store. However, I looked it up and it is $38 for all three of these. In my opinion, these are three of the best Sol de Janeiro scents too, so I would say this is definitely a steal. Then we headed on over to the Dior section. However, all we really looked at over here were the lip oils. I got one last year and even though I use it a lot, surprisingly, it hasn't ran out yet. 
the one I got is in the shade Rosewood, I believe, and it is so pretty. And then my sister has the clear Dior lip oil. After that, we made our way to checkout. However, there is a big long line, which means it's time to look at the minis. I always come back to this Touchland sanitizer because it's just so pretty. It's a rose water one, it's a glow mist. However, it is also $16. And I don't know about you, but I can't adjust spending $16 on a sanitizer. I still remember when Bath & Body Works did their 5 for 5 sanitizer still, I miss that. I think it's 5 for 8 now. These sanitizers are 10 though. Anyways, my sister did end up getting these shampoo and conditioners. She said she's been really wanting to try them. She had a bucket full of stuff. This is all hers. Then she also ended up seeing these Summer Fridays lip balms that she's really been wanting. And apparently they're very popular, so she's very surprised to see it. Oh, show me, show me. I want to see. Show, show me. <laughs> <laughs> then I saw this Laneige serum. I thought the packaging was really cute. I don't really use serums, but anyways, we finally made it to the front of the line and checked out. And that was it. I hope you all enjoy this video. Make sure to like and subscribe.